How's it going guys? Welcome back to Heartbound. We were just hanging out with uh, Joe over by the pool there. He asked us to get some coffee. There was our, our little pool slime friend. Couldn't figure out what to do about that. Pretty fresh out of ideas there. I don't think I've come across anything that would make a ton of sense. So I'll just focus on grabbing that coffee for now. Maybe I'll think a little harder on it and something will come to mind. One cup of joe, please. This thing only has a coin slot. Oh, wait, shit, do I not? He must have given me, like, paper money? Oh, I'm silly. I'm a silly Canadian. We don't have one dollar bills. We have loonies. They are coins. So in my mind, I was like, yeah, you're fine. You gave us a dollar. Just put the dollar in the coin slot and we'll be golden. Want to make me some change, Whistler? Maybe? Here's Joe's coffee. Oh, yeah, okay, so I didn't even need the vending machine then. <laughs> Bring him the change as well. Alright, thanks. Pretty cheap cup of coffee. You might want to deliver that before it gets cold. Wait, coffee can get cold? Do you just always drink it that quickly, Lore? That's a very peculiar thing to not understand. The laws of thermodynamics are not that complicated. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. They're complicated. But they're not that complicated. Alright, Joe, I've done your dark bidding. Oh, hey, you brought it. Yeah, here you go. Just whipping out just... Oh, come on, Lore. You tossed the glasses just fine. That was terrible. That's fine. I don't even like coffee. I should have not went and got that for you, you son of a bee, bee sting. Why'd you make me do that? Keep the change. Get yourself a drink. You deserve it. Oh, there we go. Now, I guess now I was able to get the change to use the vending machine. No idea why. I need that. Maybe the guy in the pool will want it. Oh, don't look at me like that. Nah, I'm just going to keep staring. Ah, fine. I'm sorry. Let me teach you something in return. All right, this better not be a trick, though. Do you know how to whistle? No. Honestly, in real life, me, Graham, is speaking right now. Terrible whistler. Just awful. <laughs> All right, well, scrunch your face up and blow. <laughs> okay, that's exactly as bad as I think I look when I attempt to whistle. That is an amazing face, and it, I, I just immediately had to screenshot that. That's glorious. Uh, a little less all of that. Ooh. That sounds very nice. That also sounded like a very familiar uh, little tone, rhythm, pattern, whatever you want to call it. I'm really curious what the hell that was. I'll, I, I need to listen back to that and figure out where that's from. It might be something wholly unique, but I think I think it's supposed to sound like something else. There you go. Hey, thanks, Joe. Anytime, intern. Oh, yeah. Don't use your newfound skill near the pool. Why not? Just trust me, intern. I feel like that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just pushing buttons to try and figure out how to do it. Turns out I can't control it. I can't do it just any old time. A sharp whistle rings out across the water? Oh, get out of here. This is going to drive me crazy that I don't... I don't know what that is. It's totally something, though. <laughs> Bold move. Well, Oscar did say I'm bad at following directions. Your funeral intern. Uh, what's the deal? I, I, I lured him nice and close. I want to go figure out whatever that beverage is. I'm gonna go spend my coin in that vending machine first and then I'll come back to that because now I'm a little anxious that maybe I've uh, stirred up a little bit more than I can handle. This time the coin pops into the slot as the machine whirs to life. Oh, house key? The key looks like solid gold, but it's just a cheap toy. Oh, so the the Neck oh, okay, we're, we're assembling more of the room. We got the stand on the side there and, and, and the shelf in the corner as well as the TV stand. Uh, interesting. Interesting because it said the necklace was cheap too. Are all of these like toys 
or maybe just toy representations of a real thing? Interesting. It's becoming clear. We still need more. <sighs> that seemed optional. No, 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 no. Because we... Joe would have never... He wouldn't have taught us the whistling without it. So I, I definitely did have to go through that. Part of me was starting to think that it was optional and I didn't actually have to do that part of things. Interesting, isn't it? All right, man, let's see what your deal is. Hey. Uh, hey? Small green, need a thing? What kind of thing? Pool pal Paul will show you. Come back later. Uh, yeah, all right. What about now? Well, I'm never sleeping again, that's for sure. The strange liquid is calm and unmoving. Hmm. Peculiar. No idea when I'm expected to come back. Joe, do you have anything to add here? Another day, another dollar, another coffee. <laughs> come back when you have some juicier rumors. How about your mom is fat? Is that a good rumor? You like that one? Yeah, take that to the bank and, and suck on it. I don't know, I'm just mashing together insults and phrases. Who knows what I'm actually saying anymore. I'm gonna pop myself over to the starting room again. Save things, save things back up again. Hey, we got the floppy disk for our, for our wall here. Even though, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm just never gonna do anything with that. It probably affected me as a negative though. It's probably like a bad thing that I did that. That I should not, shouldn't have done it. Probably shouldn't have stole it. Probably ticked me in the negative a little bit. I'm a little bit more of a dark sider than I was before. Hard to say exactly. I'm coming back up here. Oh, I was gonna say to see what I can do about the guy that I whistled in front of to see if uh, there was any follow-up that could be done about that. Maybe he just like spit up this necklace then. A small golden heart. There's a picture inside of a younger man with glasses. He looks familiar. So, Going along with the the necklace, I guess this is more like a locket, right? But like the necklace and some of the other things we found, they're all made out of gold. That all seems to be tied to our mother. And oh man, okay, the the man in the picture is likely the dad with the the glasses and everything like that. But now it's really interesting because a whole big part of the game is having the gold and purple heart. And gold and purple being Glowbringer and Darksider paths of this game. And early on, when you do a Darksider path in this game, you get kind of a weird Darksider thing going on with the dad. Uh, but it was just in the parents' bedroom. We don't know for sure that it was just our dad, but it kind of felt that way. This is really starting to feel like two sides, like our parents, you know, that one is coming from the parents, uh, like our mother and our father, and then I guess that would make us, you know, a little bit of each of them. Man, I'm really going off the rails theorizing and stuff right now. But that's what kids are. They're equal parts their parents, right? And so I can't help. I can't help but start to think that sort of stuff. Okay, let's just interact with it and see what the hell extra things get added into the into the house here. Hey, an actual functioning TV. Someone is standing on the stairs, it looks like. Uh, that carpet in front of the door might not have been there before, but yeah, I think someone looming over the stairs there was new. Hey, there's there's Pond, friend. Hey, thanks, Paul. Yep, yep, bye. He's, that's it? The strange liquid is calm and unmoving? He's out? That was the extent of what he had to say or do? Another day, another dollar. Jeez, we've already, we've already talked to you about that. Come back when you have some juicier rumors. Huh. That seems to have been all we could do there. Man, that was a quite the way to get worked up early episode. I think it's about time we finally actually move on here, heading to what would probably be the next floor. Alrighty then. Oh, oh, okay, we got this directly in front of us. I didn't even see that. I got all worked up about the big boss door there. Are you ready to proceed? I I guess so, but like, I'm just trying to interact with this thing on the floor. The chain falls apart in your hands. The final piece. Did the other ones fall apart? I don't think so. Oh, now there's two figures on the stairs. Oh, is this our first look at mom? I don't think we've had this, uh, like, seen anything of her at all yet. 
you're always doing this. Doing what exactly? And that's 100% our dad, so that would make sense. Coddling him. He's never going to grow up this way. Sitting on the couch, wasting time with that thing. Baron? You call him Baron a thing? He's fine. One day he'll be too old to laze his summers away. Let him enjoy himself. He's going to be just like you at this rate. What's that supposed to mean? It means you're weak. You've always been weak. Even now, you don't have the strength to stand up for yourself. Pathetic. Jesus, our mom's a little, uh, a little intense, wouldn't you say? I think I understand now. It's time to get out of here. Oh, we're right at the end of Tower Corp, aren't we? You're right, new hire. Luckily, I've been instructed to open these doors for you. What's on the other side? Paperwork and a bunch of sad stuff. Can you be more specific? Nope. Well, let's get on with it then. Sure thing. Also, give me that hat. It's company property. I guess that means we're moving on from the corporation. It wasn't even mine. Don't worry. It won't matter soon. A little, little too cryptic. See a new hire. Oh, are we getting knocked straight into this portal and all the way out of here? I thought maybe we would have the opportunity to confront our dad again or something before we left. Well, this is it. Would you look at this? Abandoning your best friend Joe at the drop of a hat. Speaking of which, where is that hat? Ah, uh, it's out of my control. I'm sorry, it got taken. Oscar took it. You know what? He probably deserves it. Any leads on the boss yet? Uh, yeah, at least I think so. Oh. So our dad works for our mom, perhaps? Or at the very least, maybe they met at the office? Well, lay it on me then. I'm not even sure if it's really her or not. All jokes aside, is everything all right? You seem kind of down. No, I'm pretty stressed out. Look, I know I can be a bit of a jerk sometimes. Just remember, whatever happens through those doors, I got your back. Thanks, Joe. Didn't expect you to be quite so supportive for a lizard crocodile person. Hmm. It makes a lot more sense now that the first puzzle in this chapter was doodles of lizard people hiding the keypad. Seemed like a very random thing that had nothing to do with anything. I just now realized <laughs> this office is almost entirely lizard people. No problem, intern. You better be we better get going then, huh? Yeah, I gotta get back to the pool. All this talking really tired me out. Maybe all your lack of coffee? Wait, what? I thought you said you had my back. Well, yeah. But I'm not getting fired for it. I got kids to feed. See ya, intern. Well, he sure bailed at the drop of a hat, just like we were saying. Can you believe that? <laughs> Ought to come after him with a bat. Or better yet, an axe. Abandon the rhymings for the sake of a more effective weapon. Can I backtrack? I cannot. Am I going to have to battle Oscar here? Hey, new hire. Miss me? Uh, yeah. Sure. Good. Are you ready? Ready for what? It's time for your termination. Wait. What? You're no longer valuable to Tower Corp. So, you're being deleted. Lucky you. You can't be serious. You're right. I'm Oscar. Yeah, you deserve a scowl for that, even if it is a very serious situation. Have a good 60 seconds, new hire. Oh shit, do I actually only have like a minute to figure this out? I'm just gonna pull the plug. You're getting ripped out of there. You can't <laughs> fire me if you're dead. Oh, come on, man. Put your back into it. All I can do... There we go, yeah. Ooh. Maybe I should have ran around and tried to investigate a little bit more before I went all murder crazy. No, no. No, that seems like it was a good idea to me. Allow me to just interact with the, the walls and stuff a little bit to see if there's secrets. No way backwards. Forwards it is. The boss. With all their gold, golden cup, 
monitoring everyone architect style. Oh shit, there's mom. Oh, miss me, kiddo? Shit. I missed what the uh, original version of that was. But I was going to say all the gold, the gold mug, and now apparently gold earrings and everything. That stuff totally was all our moms. Now, the weirdest thing here is that because mom has no regular eyes, it really starts to make those clacky earrings look like eyes, giving this weird, like, bug appearance. It's kind of creepy, isn't it? I gotta pay attention. Coming all this way to grovel at my feet to see me. This... Okay. When we first see our dad in the house... It is positive and flips to negative, whereas this starts negative and flips to positive. It's kind of reversing there, which is which is very interesting to see. I also like most of the idle animations in this game are up and down. Like you can see Lore kind of bouncing on his heels or whatever he's doing there. She's got like this side to side idle that stands out as being distinctly different. No. Oh, just pushing the whole desk away. Get over here. I, damn it. I gotta... Okay, when I progress the dialogue, gotta be ready to read it more quickly. Is something wrong, sweetie? It's not real. You can't be real. Oh, Dad, leave the boy alone. Dad, yeah, come bail us out, man. We need your help. Nobody speaks to me that way. Why would she fade to darkness like this? Because our dad's in the way? Because we can't fully see her? Oh, shit, she can do that sort of shit too, I guess. Dad, he got what he deserved. He's just having a time out, honey. What have you done? I won't let you do this. No more lies. Oh, shit, we're all going, going all glow bringer again. Also, good, good reminder to know that I'm still technically on the glow bringer path. Oh, yeah, yeah, new battle sequence. Oh, we're cracking straight through it. Is she gonna stop it from happening? Oh my god. Oh, that's terrifying as hell. She looks crazy. And there now we can see proper eyeballs. So it kind of kind of disrupts that look. But now she looks scarier than ever. Jesus, it looks like Venom or something. Or like, or uh, what was it called? Shriek? Is that the female? Venom, the yellow one with the red hair and stuff. God, Scream. Maybe it's Scream? Ah, oh, I'm getting totally confused. We're not fighting on your terms. I'm the boss here. Not you. Just stop. Or what? Or, or you'll hurt me just like you hurt him? Feeding the poor thing garbage while he pleaded with you? I didn't. I fed him, I fed him the food. I fed him food in this run. No, you're remembering it incorrectly. Feed him the Viking feast. I didn't feed him garbage. I remember I, I specifically made sure I fed him dog food. No, he's my best friend. He's always been there for me. Even when you weren't. How dare you talk back to me? Oh, okay. We're just going through this one, like just arguing things out rather. Oh, shit. Do I have to remember all my choices? Is this gonna like... Is she gonna go through more things and I just have to remember? That would be really cool. That'd be such a cool boss battle. You've got a habit of doing terrible things. You stole from a poor old man. You didn't even want it. Just like you don't want me. I'm fairly confident in this run I didn't take the apple. No. No, I didn't steal it. I don't know if I just have to make the right choice now, like almost uh, correcting my path, or if I just have to remember what I actually did. You're wrong. That never happened. I know better better than to take what isn't mine. Hope you learn the same lesson one day. What did you just say to me? Ooh, not too many more now. Despite your hurtful words, I still have hope for you. In his final moments, you let him live. You care so much for Baron. Such a compassionate child. Oh, I think I... No, I laid the finishing blow. I, I, I'm doing what... I, I'm redoing what I did. I hope that's the right action here. That's not what happened. I, I heard him. I was blinded by fear and didn't recognize him. Is she always going to tell me a, a lie then? And I always have to... 
I, it would be it would be more interesting or more difficult maybe if she always said the negative and regardless i i just had to remember and, and re redo that one she still lied again right i was blinded by fear and didn't recognize him even then it was wrong and i would do it differently given the chance arrogant child <sighs> how about when you murdered joe remember that we all remember that, don't we? Murder Joe, when did that even come up as a possibility? Murder Joe? <laughs> no! What the hell? Could I have gone back and murdered him? Oh my god, like when he, when he met me at the doorway and then disappeared, could I have gone back? Absolutely not, I didn't do it. That would have been buck wild though. Dude just said he had a family. I feel sorry for you. All you've done is hurt everyone around you. I wish I could help you. Yeah, suck on that, Mom. Ooh, now she's crying. No, you can't. I'm in control. Oh, she's going full crazy. Hey, it went all gray. Oh, I, I missed it. But it went all gray. Like when we first solved the first riddle in that first room. I don't think that happened again throughout this area. Why do you hate me? I don't hate you. I hate myself. I don't think Lore hates himself. I think Lore is uh, as well-rounded and well-centered of a kid as he could possibly be, given the circumstances. I don't hate myself. I kind of hate her, I think, but I don't hate you. I, I never did, even with everything you've done. All that pain and sadness just made me stronger. Help me to deal with people like you. People who hate themselves as much as you do. No. Stop. You can't do this. I forgive you, Mom. Oh, finishing blow. Is she gonna turn back to a normal lady? Did I fix things? Did I make it worse? Like, what the hell did I just do? Dad. I'm sorry. No. I should have listened to you. I should have paid more attention to what was going on. I just got so wrapped up in work that I forgot what it meant to be a dad. I let you down. It's... it's fine. It's not. But I hope in time it can be. Please, take this before you go. What is this? It's a phone. Kind of old-fashioned, I know. No matter how busy I am, I'll make sure to answer if you call. I need to head back to work. Just know you can call me anytime. Hey, Dad. Yes? I love you. I love you too, son. <gasps> oh, shit, Baron. I don't know if I don't know if Lore is crying over his heart being toyed with right now, or if it's like that he hasn't seen Baron in so long, or if he's been crying over about his dad and hasn't looked up yet. Oh, he sees him. Oh, He's not a figment. Oh, he is a figment. Oh, he was the first. The first fragment of his soul or whatever. We've re... recaptured that. Hey, it's hard to face our bad memories. It's even harder to accept them. Especially when you wish things happened differently. Ah, so I was... I was taking the right... approach, I think, by being honest about what happened. Although... It was that whole thing where she, I think she always lied. You're getting stronger. Don't give up. I'm proud of you. Oh, you're such a good boy. I'm so sorry about everything that's happened. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, is this going to be like the demo now? Where we can do like the opening parts of these different worlds, but not actually really get fully into them? Because I guess it would be strange to kind of remove those portions you had, you know, quote, demo ready, but I wouldn't be overly surprised. I'm just curious to see if this changes versus what we saw in the demo. I'm not going to do a complete replay through to see uh, the Jotunheim one as well. I knew that one was shorter, so I, I went, went with the Animus direction this time just to see. There isn't a lot here either. Uh, this is going to be repetitive. For anyone who watched the the proper first original one of these I did. It looks pretty beat up. Nothing a little pick-me-up can't fix. Do 
you really think you can help him? Of course, kiddo. I can do anything. Not a kid anymore, Cersei. I grew a bunch over the summer and everything. Your length don't count for nothing, kiddo. Now help me get him back to town. There's... I, I should speed through their dialogue and stuff, because we would have already seen it. Maybe I'll just maybe I'll just chime back in if I notice anything glaringly different from what we saw in the demo here. Nothing different in the house, nothing different north of town. There doesn't seem to be anywhere to find out whether or not any uh, decisions I made in the office world will have affected what happens here. So we'll just head south until we initiate this little moment that leads into the end of the demo. Now, before we got knocked out here and then had a little conversation with the the artifact, well, guess I'm dead. Had a good run. Isn't something supposed to happen? You're not dead, you imbecile. You're just knocked out. Great, so I'm dead and I still can't get away from you. Fantastic. You're almost as bad as I am. Do not trust them. That was uh, thanks to that translation thing that I had entered in the first part of, of the office there. Thanks for playing Heartbound. More chapters are coming. We hope you liked the game so far. Watch the dev streams. Join the community. Do not trust them. I, I, my guess is that that's directed towards the Critters of Animus. Hard to say for sure. Hey, I get to pop back up in into my little household save file here. Uh, my hat is gone from the hat rack, but I do have a phone now. Something that I cannot currently interact with. Yeah, nothing, nothing to be done about that. But if I leave, uh, it takes me back to here. Okay. And I want to see if at this point where I have tipped the scales in terms of Jotunheim. Obviously, I've been going really hard on curiosity. So if it's based entirely on curiosity, which I think it is, it should send me towards the one that has to do with having a really high curiosity score. Yeah, so right now things are still muscle high me. It'll be interesting to see if by the time chapter 4 comes out, if this will still be the direction that that leans. I would imagine that that would be the case. Very intense, like, gladiatorial music that comes in in the final moments of this. There's really nothing to be seen of that chapter yet. Only the intro there. Burn bright, burn out is the message I get from the very end of that one there. And then same thing should just lead into the same credit sequence. Awesome. I think that is everything I have to show for now. I am going to heavily consider doing another Secrets Galore style video like I did for the demo where I, where I dive into all of the new cool secret references and things you can interact with and uh, different branching ways you can change things in the Office Corp. I'm, I'm thinking I want to make another video like that, but it's going to get awfully complicated because by the time Chapter 3 comes out, that means I'd have to start playing around with doing things in the order of 1, 2, 3, and 1, 3, 2, which just gets increasingly complicated the more chapters that come out. So I don't know. It's a, it's a type of video I want to try and make. I'm not going to do it right away because I want to take some time to really dig for secrets. I don't want to just go with the immediate obvious stuff. It takes people a long time to find some of these secrets. Months sometimes. So maybe, maybe I give it a while to see what kind of stuff people happen to dig up. And then as more chapters are released, I might have to rethink how I approach these videos. But that's something cool that we could maybe look forward to. Let me know what you guys think of that. Let me know what you think of the chapters so far, what you're looking forward to most in the game, how you different different choices maybe you would have made, things like that. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you again soon.